Treating Gout Attacks Gout attacks are sudden, painful, and can strike at any time. If you're looking for ways to relieve the intense pain of a gout attack, this chapter can help. There are four main treatments that relieve the pain and swelling of a gout attack. These treatments are colchicine, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, abbreviated as NSAIDs, anti-inflammatory steroids, and injections of medications directly into a joint, muscle, or bloodstream. As a general rule, the sooner any treatment is started after a gout attack starts, the more helpful it will be in stopping the attack. One treatment is not better than others, and each treatment has its own advantages and disadvantages. What works best for one person might not be the same things that work best for another. Some treatments might not mix well with your other medications or health conditions. To learn which gout attack treatment is right for you, you'll need to speak with your healthcare provider. To better understand how these gout attack treatments work, it helps to know what is going on inside the body during a gout attack. Here's a joint containing uric acid crystals before an attack happens. There are immune system cells monitoring the crystals. These cells are quiet and relaxed unless the crystals get disturbed. The pain, swelling, and heat you feel when a gout attack happens are caused by the immune cells that turn on when they sense disturbed crystals. The immune cells think that the crystals are a threat and try to break down the crystals. This process causes a lot of inflammation, which makes the joint painful and swollen. Despite all of their efforts, the immune cells are not able to get rid of the crystals. The treatments for gout attacks work by calming down the immune cells. The treatments put an end to the attack, but the uric acid crystals are still in the joint. This means another attack can still happen. Each of these treatment options for gout attacks has advantages and disadvantages that you should talk about with your healthcare provider. We'll point out some highlights of each treatment, starting with colchicine. Colchicine is a medication that comes from the root of a plant called autumn crocus. This medication works best when started at the very beginning of a gout attack. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea are the most common side effects. Colchicine is not a good choice if you have kidney disease. Also, some medications do not mix well with colchicine. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are a family of medications that include ibuprofen, naproxen, Motrin, Aleve, and others. Some of these medications are available over the counter, but you should check with your healthcare provider about how to take these medications for your gout to get the best results at fewest side effects. Stomach pain and heartburn are the most common side effects. They can also temporarily raise your blood pressure or bother your kidneys. These medications may have to be avoided if you have heart or kidney disease, or if you have problems with bleeding or blood clotting. Anti-inflammatory steroids, like prednisone or medrol, are often used to treat gout attacks when other treatments can't be used. They can raise blood sugar levels, so people with diabetes need to be careful. Some other common side effects are irritability and mood swings, increased appetite, trouble sleeping, and higher blood pressure. Side effects are more common with higher doses and longer use of the medication. An injection of medication into a joint, muscle, or bloodstream is another way to treat a gout attack. One example of this is an injection of an anti-inflammatory steroid directly into the joint where a gout attack is happening. This can be done by your healthcare provider in their office. The advantage to this is that it targets the inflammation right where it happens. This can minimize side effects for the rest of your body. It can also provide faster relief. One disadvantage is pain during the injection. Another example of an injection to treat a gout attack is the medication called Toradol, also known as Ketorolac. This is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug which can be injected into a muscle and will release slowly from the muscle over a few days to provide relief for a gout attack. One or more of these treatment options for gout attacks might be right for you. Whatever you and your healthcare provider decide on, just remember that no amount of gout attack treatment is alone going to prevent the next attack from happening. Remember that gout attacks are caused by uric acid crystals in the joint, but treatments for gout attacks don't get rid of these uric acid crystals. 
the uric acid crystals got into the joint because of too much uric acid in the blood. To get rid of the uric acid crystals, the uric acid level in the blood needs to be kept under 6 mg per deciliter. If uric acid levels in the blood are kept low, uric acid crystals dissolve and don't form again. Without uric acid crystals, there can be no more attacks. To go over how to lower your uric acid level, make sure to review the Curing Gout chapter.